All right, what's up dudes and dudettes? Um, really exciting stuff for you guys this week, so forgive me for being quiet last week, just super busy in peak season. Um, here we go. Full combat program is in full swing. Our pilot is on his fourth month right now. So we're gaining a lot of data on this, learning how to merge basically unconventional training in the gun field, which is uh, really, really unique. But um, I have a really special uh, idea for this coming week's full combat program. And again, as a reminder, you can sign up for this at monarchdefense.org. It runs about four hours long and it goes on Sunday nights, the fourth Sunday of the month, right? So about four hours on uh, the fourth Sunday of the month, starts from 3 p.m., goes to 7 p.m and uh, get you home by in time for dinner, right? So, full combat, what is the premise? We are incorporating everything you've learned so far in your gun training, um, in your, your you know movements, and we're training against live opponents now using real guns that are converted to fire non-lethal ammunition. In this case, we're gonna be using Simunition or UTM brand, uh, either uh, projectiles for force-on-force -force training or blanks or silent blanks um, that allow us to safely train with live opponents just like as you would train in uh, for example, in a mixed martial art class or something, you need to have a live opponent. That's what we're trying to do here. So um, for this month, let me introduce Mr. Brian Strathy. His hey program is in Menlo Park, it's called Urban Combat. So uh, tell us about yourself. Sure. So my name is Brian Strathy and I've been involved in the martial arts, actively training and researching for the past 30 years. And over that time, we've come up with a system that we like to call Urban Combat. And basically what we do in urban combat is we reverse engineer violent encounters because we want to see what people are doing naturally under adrenal stress, right? When the neocortex hands the keys to the limbic system, what are people actually able to do? So nothing fancy, it's, it's basically high percentage movements that we're going to show you. Uh, the stuff I am looking forward to working with you guys on is defense against weapons while on the ground and also some defenses on how to take weapons away from somebody. Uh, for example, Brian mentioned that there will be some talk about slicing the pie. Well, we'll talk about an active shooter situation. How can I take the gun away from an active shooter when you hit the ground? But our, our main focus for our time together is going to be defense against knives and guns while on the ground. How to escape from mount, cross side, that basic eight levels of escape. Um, because we want you guys to have some simple, instinctive responses that you can actually use both unarmed and with a gun as well. So oftentimes you'll find people that go to some school and they say, well, I have this fantastic technique, come to the school, let me teach you, right? So then you learn the technique and you're saying, well, how do I now use this technique? Well, let's, we try to reverse it around in this paradigm of reality-based training. And that doesn't matter if it's the gun or hand-to-hand -hand or you know, in the knife and club environment, right? So in reality-based training, we're trying to say, what is real life? Get us a video case study. Get us a real story out of this. Let's see how it happened in real life. What are lessons we can learn? What are techniques that we can draw upon in this buffet of techniques we have available to us? So um, we look at it from what is reality first, what's the problem, then let's solve it. Whereas traditional you know, martial arts schools, yep. same yep. thing in traditional gun schools, say I have the solution, now find problems that fits the solution, right? Yep. So we turn things upside down. Um, Cause just and, to jump in, like just tonight what Brian and I were working on, we are working on knife defense, but we brought in a stun gun. And just the idea of actually being like zapped in the stomach, the technique actually became very clear right away. It's like, I don't want to grab it. I want to break free and run, yeah. right? But if you didn't have that kind of stimulus or like working with, you know, uh, Brian's simunition guns and things like that, it makes the, re the training that much more realistic. Yeah. And then we all basically will do the same things under that kind of adrenal stress. Yeah. There you have it, full combat. Uh, if you want to sign up for it, monarchdefense.org. Um, we're going to pick up right where we left off from last month. So uh, to review, last month we were working on doorways, entry, uh, looking at the, the variations of different techniques for how we penetrate the room, if we want to go into the room at all. Um, the dangers involved working in doorways and corners. Uh, we worked it at night, so we were looking at uh, speed and violence versus caution and pying the corner and understanding the delay time that it takes for someone to react. So that was what we did last month. We're going to pick up right there. You enter the room, someone is there to challenge you or they caught you off guard. Now you're going to the ground, now you guys are resting over the weapon, the knife is present, the gun is present, you have you and only you and no one's coming to save you, so how do you uh, extract yourself out of the situation? How do you make your weapons work in its most disadvantaged state when you're, you're tangled up, right? The gun does not like to be tangled up with the bad guy, right? So uh, those are all really, really good and troublesome problems that we don't like to think about as gun people, so this is our chance to train it. Um, 
Classes went really good uh, for the past weekend. We had the sh uh, shooting range experience back to back on Sunday morning versus, uh, with uh, defensive hangout and skill builder. So just so you guys know, in November, our defensive hangout skill builder is gonna be uh, in the dark. Uh, runs from three to 7 p.m. on the uh, third Sunday of the month. Uh, that's down in Morgan Hill. So a lot of good programs. If you're interested in checking them out, go to monarchdefense.org, uh, urbancombat.us if you're interested, if you're up in the peninsula area. And uh, Urban Combat trains every Monday, Wednesday uh, in this reality-based self-defense. Yep. And if you're interested in uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu-based yep, we have grappling, that on Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Great. Brian's are signing out. I'm Brian Wang. I'm Brian Strathy. See you later.